Ugh. You get too fat and too old to it. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I might be in the road. Uh, uh. Isn't it bad? Bad, bad, bad. Oh, hello, wires. What do you lot all do with your uh, adulthood? It sucks. My loader has gone into limp mode again. That's not good. It's like trying to go fishing without a rod. It doesn't work. Come on, bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't want that. Dad was going to bring in soil probe out here. They do say like if you can put your nuts on the soil. Um, I still haven't got nuts. So if you're a potato and you want to go into nice happy living conditions. Which sometimes I am. So yeah, over there. To go by, by that shed. Might be a while. How long, where did you start that one? Uh, 2013 officially. Shut up. So guys, just learned something new. Did Ooh. you guys know this? It's not really planting time for me. No. Good afternoon, Fenlanders. Welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures. I'm Daniel, and I will be your host for most of today. Ugh, I'm getting too fat and too old to this. <laughs> oh dear, we've just got our front tank uh, electronics put through and our pipe put through for the Bellum Prime. Uh, so front tank nearly there, you know. <sighs> front tank is very nearly there. All I gotta do is wire these up, just to stop them dragging, really. Just to stop them catching on anything, dragging on anything. Wheels, lumps and bumps. Another one here somewhere, I think. And that's pretty good. It all works out okay, you know? As long as it don't get caught on the prop shaft and disappear, I'll be happy. Where are you? That's that bit done. Um, yeah, I might be nearly real, just to... <laughs> Climb out of here. I got said wires there to go on said battery under here. This is a really crap place to put the battery, John Deere. Look at the state of it. It's nearly as well to take the bloody step off. Isn't it bad? Bad, bad, bad. Bad place to put the step. Bad place to put the battery. What's wrong with it up the front there? In there. So we get it wired up now. Front tank's on. Bellum Prime kit is uh, piped up. Da da da. Get that powered up. And then we'll. Uh, Finish off on the planter, Anna's done some of it. Oh, hello wires. Oh, hello Mickey. So I've got to try and put them, all of them, get all of them on together. So, as you can see, I've got very little space in there and it's pretty grubby in there. God, that is a crap place to put a battery. Right where the, right where the, um, right where all the mud flicks off the front wheel. It's just covered in mud, look. Can you not see in there? That is a really, John Deere, you need to change that. It's a really crap place to put a battery. Now, I'm not trying to have a go, I'm just trying to say that is a shocking place. You had it right, with the, in the front there. So, that's uh, my first job. Oh, bloody hoodie, look. The state of me. They're dusty, but not as dusty as I'm going to be in the next few days, I don't think. So, I'm going to get this done. I can't really film too much while I'm trying to fish in there with my fingers. I can't get my fingers in there, let alone a camera. Now, I have found a way, Ben Landers, I have found a way. You know what? I, you want to know what that way is? The easiest way for me to wire them up is to take the freaking step off. They're all wired up now. Let's just before I put the step back on and have to take it off again. Yay! That's on. So my Velum Prime working, and hopefully that turns on. Come on! I have them the wrong way around then. Oh dear, that is not coming on. Right, I'm gonna try them the other way around then. What a treat for me! One last thing I've got to do. I've already got them nozzles on for my uh, Bellum Prime, but I have got to put my sponges on. A bit grubby on there. I don't never bother cleaning this thing. Well, I cleaned it down, but obviously I didn't do a very good job. Uh, some people wash them. What do you lot all do with your uh, planters? Do you wash them down and put them in the shed, or do you just grease them up and sling them in? 
like evidently I have done. So I just got to put the other little extra shoes on for the other little nozzles. Another little nozzle there. That nozzle is bolted to that. Made an extra shoe to go on the front there. And I'm moaning at me, look, for making the place untidy. She left a grease gun laying on the floor. What a dick. Can we put it back? I'm the tidy one out of all of us in the family, I reckon. Yeah, we're nearly there. Put the sponges on. I've got some more greasing to do. Anna's done some of them, I think. Uh, I've got a whole plate at the back there to take off. A whole panel. That all comes off. It, it does need a new belt in there, the variator. It needs a new variator belt on. Like £1,000 or 1200 quid. I'll wait till it's finally had it. All I have to do with the variator is like where I'm trying to get like 12 or 13 inches on my computer. I have to put like seven or eight inches on the computer um just to get my spacings where i want to be so i'm going to get on and do that then i'll show you in a minute when i'm done i'm going to go and lift that lift it lift the thing up lift the shear up so i've got a bit more wiggle room and then basically we've just got to fill the vellum prime tank up the water tank up all right let's go in the cab now but the electric keeps going off where's my thunder buddy when i need him going to tidy up a couple more cables and then I'll uh, do a bit more on the back there and we're nearly done. Cheers Fernandes. Good morning Fernandes. Today we're sponsored by FernlanderClothing.com of Co. I can't remember. If you want to go and buy yourself a nice cool hoodie, go and, uh, go and treat yourself. Oh, hang on, let me get in here. There you are. It is cold outside. Colder than I would like it to be to go planting. So Grammy Granddad said, oh, we've got loads of hog turds today. Why don't we, um, why don't I go and get the trailer load of hog turds and you get the JCB and go push the hog turds up, go and round it up before we think about going planting. It's such catchy weather that I think he's worried about dressing some up and then dressing some field up, getting some field ready with the basilier and with her. He's thinking it may be just uh, better to just hang fire until we're moved up there completely. Everything's moved up there. And then we can do a bit of basileering, do a bit of bed tilling, and then do a bit of planting, and just gear ourselves right up for it, you know? Just, just get ourselves completely and utterly prepared to either dive in the shed if it starts raining, or I'm ca uh, totally caught up with the planter, you know? So we are just gonna do this for this morning. It's been on and off rainy all all night really. I don't think we've had much more rain since I went to bed last night, but last night when I went to bed at half past 10, it was absolutely throwing it down out here. So yeah, not great. I've tidied up the yard so we can get beams bolted together tonight and they can all be bolted together. And then Mrs. Farmer, all her awesomeness, is gonna come over and start painting for me. Uh, Farmer Palmer and Kitty are gonna come over and help me bolt them together and then get them upright and start thinking about getting the posts upright and bolted down and everything. I wish to start with, I'd have put the concrete pad in and then had somebody make me a new shed to fit the concrete pad. You know, it would have been a lot easier. I uh, just seem like I'm so busy and when I'm not busy, I'm so worn out, all I wanna go do is go to the pub and have a few pints with me mates, you know? So, yeah, just to relieve the stress a little bit and, uh, and unwind. Try not to hit the box turner behind me. So yeah, try not to uh, get myself too stressed out and go and enjoy a beer with Mrs. Barmer and uh, chill out in a pub garden somewhere, but I ain't really done that this weekend, so adulthood, it sucks. But we'll get there and uh, yeah, I will turn you back on in a minute. Right, my loader's gone into limp mode again. That's not good. So I'll have the man out, see if we can figure out why it keeps doing it. He came out the other day and changed a few bits and pieces and uh, that hasn't worked obviously. So keep going into limb mode. That ain't no good to man or beast. So we'll figure it out. They've done it. They've done it while we were much spreading. You know? It just got worse and worse and worse and changed all the filters and stuff. And I thought it felt like it was a, uh, there was a bit of string in there. Oh man. One bit's gonna have to be okay. I'm not going paddling in there. <laughs> Try and get this lot to all dry out before Grummy Grandad turns up. With his load of turds, as you can see, I've got quite a uh, extravagant little pile of 
make a nice little bed for the old turds to sit on and try and dry some of the water out. Obviously it keeps raining. But I mean, we've only had a few mils of rain, so what's everybody else had? Hopefully not too much. But yeah, you'll see in a second, when I try and push this muck up, it just won't have it. It will not go. And go, boy. That's it. Come on, load up. So where I normally pick up a whole bucket full and tip it up there, it won't have it. And the bloody load sensor keeps cutting in when it don't need to. So I've got to investigate that as well. It's like trying to go fishing without a rod. It doesn't work. Come off it. Bloody thing is far too sensitive and kicking in far too soon. It should be able to pick that up and move that. Got some investigating to do with this loader. Poor little thing. But yeah, hopefully we'll get planting in a second. Will I ever get this rounded up? Taking like 10 pushes rather than two pushes. Like a couple of heat, couple of, couple of heat ups like when it's working properly and you're done. But this thing is just, um, I'd rather have bought the John Deere and had more grunt. And then in the summertime, we'll, uh, we'll get all this muck spread all over our field, back home, round the yard. Give them all a good shot of, um, of muck. Oh yeah. Come on, loader. Teamwork, let's do it. That is it, that is done. We'll see how grumpy granddad's getting on. If not, I'll go back to the yard. We'll go back to the yard and get the trailer loaded up. Hmm. Pivot can. Yeah. Go and get it geared up. They won't grump. Once the grumpster turns up, we'll go and get the basilier all, all set up with the sat nav and the, and the gaps and everything. And uh, get that done. And then we can get the planter all set up and finished off. And uh, check everything out. Make sure it all goes round and round. And then if it doesn't rain, I mean, it looks like it's going to rain, doesn't it? Let's do pivot cam again. It doesn't look like a plant in the sky, does it? Oh, it is raining. Oh yeah, it, it, so it's already raining. <laughs> All I want to do is plant. Right, <laughs> see what the weather does in a second. Good morning, guys. Hope you're really well. Welcome to Lee Farm. Today, we were going to try and go plant him. However, I think it's too cold. Our agronomist has been over, or they've spoken to the agronomist, and he said it's just a bit too cold. As you can see, my hair's blowing about a bit. It is a bit windy, and we did have a bit of rain yesterday. <laughs> a bit of rain. It was like torrential, the world is going to end rain. So, obviously it's made everywhere a bit wet. But me and Dad are just up Lee Farm, just dropping some bits off here. Daniel's now on his way over. I think he's going to go out with the basilier. I'm not really sure what the plan is for me today, but we'll find out from Daniel shortly. So I thought I'd just, um, yeah, just talk you guys through what we're, what we're up to. Dad's just reversing the trailer. Look at the skill. Dad's just playing fetch with the JCB. Having fun? Oh, oodles of fun. What are you up to? <coughs> why, why are we bandoliering? What does bandoliering do? Uh, all we're doing now is just trying to get ourselves a um, uh, all our uh, adjustments sorted out. Um, Cookie's saying, no, don't go planting. It's because uh, all the hail and snow and rain and crap we had yesterday. The world actually did end. Yeah. Yesterday, a couple of times. Yeah, and um, he's like, no, your white land, as you can see, my land is white. It, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't do the potatoes it likes to be nice and warm it, it likes to be nice and warm when we put um buds in so we're just uh we're just gonna go we're just gonna try this really and, uh, and set this up set the basil earring up so what, what, what do you on earlier. Now, so now the sun's come out what so what do you mean by what what does this actually do to the ground it's like chopping it up and then flattening yeah. it see all it's all cloddy yeah it's not behind us yeah we'll go and have a look in a second so we're doing like 2k up and down the field. Grumpy Granddad wants, wants his drink. And it's probably his banana. His banana. Ah. But we're just trying to smash all the clods up. Just trying to smash all the clods up. It's as simple as that. So now we're on, um, now we're uh, roughly where we want it to be, within one centimetre. John Deere RTK is the best. We'll just lift up, spin round. So we've got to do this all across the field? Yeah. I haven't figured out how to put it in eco mode. I feel like this is something you probably should have done before thinking about planting. 
Oh, well, Dad, will I come out here and do this? Will this be my job? No, 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 I'll let Dad do this. Oh. Not only there, you got... Is it just because you have to be so precise? Uh, yeah, and you've got to deal with, uh, you haven't got a um, PA6, is it, to deal with granular uh, applicators and stuff, so... Yeah, you have to have a special license to deal with the stuff we're putting in it. So you're actually putting an applicator on as well? You're putting stuff on it? Yeah, I'm putting nematorin on. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, putting nematorin on, yeah, that kills the eelworm in the soil. So, does... You mean the nematodes? Yeah, the nematodes. The nematodes and eelworm are the same thing? Uh, sort of, yeah. Oh. There's, there's good nematodes and bad nematodes. Oh there's PCN and then there's BCN as there's well. just so potato, much to take in! Potato cyst <laughs> nematodes and then beet cyst nematodes as well. Which we can don't you want. see me in the camera? I don't know if it can see Probably me. Probably not. You're missing a lot, are they? Okay. I don't know how to get the, uh, beef, the engine revs to go. So, like, I'll leave the engine revs up on the other one. So, Ben Anders, help me out. I leave the revs flat out on the other tractors and as soon as I switch PTO off it drops back down again. So as soon as I stop, like we're gonna do now. Fine. The engine revs stay the same, but I, I all I wanna do I want them to drop down. Is it not because you got that one? Yeah, no, but you do that on the other tractors and it and it comes back down again. Ah. Uh. Every day's a school day. Yeah, I'm learning. So I tried to put the rear PTO cruise on. So I turned that off, that didn't work. Remote. No, don't want that. I don't know what that does. Uh, remote PTO enabled, so you can switch the PTO on and off at the back there, I'm guessing. Oh, oh my God, there's so much to these tractors, isn't there? Fair bit. Pretty good. 3.66 is what we're after because we're doing two beds. Right. Let's down and do the other side. Oh. So you're just trying to set up your beds? Yeah. Okay. Just, no, I'm just trying to set up my working whip. Right. So once I get my working whip right, it can go back in the shed, I think. Okay. Oh, now it's too cold. Ooh. Is it? Well, I'm, I think that's a bit more than uh, that's like more like 370 there. So it's four centimeters difference that side. Right. So there was the other side. So it's 3.66 the other side. 370 this side. That's annoying. No, so that'll do. Four centimeters over over that is. I'm not going to worry about that. I'd rather have a wider bed than a narrower bed. But it might be just where the tractor's pulling around a little bit. It might not have been quite square here. So. That's two centimetres out there right. on, the, on the screen. If it's two centimetres, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, okay. And then all you want to do is just come and have a look. Like, sods like that will fall through the, uh, through the through the harvester, you know? They're not that... My biggest problem is if I go over it with a power harrow, flatten it down, yeah. I'll end up with it all, like, proper fine, like that. And then it'll slump and go cloddy anyway, so... I'd rather have a little bit, but I'd, I'd like to see a few more of these broken up. So, if the new tractor does turn up in the next few days, then I'll, uh, job for you, you can come out here and do some power harrowing. Okay. You can maybe just flatten it off, race over it like mad, fast, and at least you get used to driving that tractor then, won't you? Is it supposed to turn up soon? Fingers crossed. Yeah. I thought it was going to be here when I weren't here. I thought it was going to be here, but... They need to pull a finger out. Uh, right. This is not my fault. No, so, For a change. Uh, we'll, head back, we'll head back to the yard. I, I think that'll be okay. Dad was going to bring his soil probe out here. They do say, like, if you can put your nuts on the soil. But like, you're my sister. If you're my other half, then maybe. Um, I still haven't got nuts. <laughs> Whether I'm your sister or not. <laughs> How cold it is. Yeah. Haven't you, haven't you just put stuff in there? You shouldn't be putting that in your face. No, I haven't put no stuff on yet. Oh, okay. I thought you had. Put that on the back of your hand. It's cold, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. It is fairly. Yeah. So if you're a potato and you want to go into nice, happy living conditions. Which sometimes I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not going to want to do it, are you? Okay. So what are you up to? 
Dan and Phil Finland Farming Adventures HQ together. It's only been 20 years. Yeah, well, this, <laughs> this time last year when we done the concrete, so. Yeah, over there. I think to go by, by that shed. Might be a while. How long? When did you start that one? Uh, 2013, officially. Shut up. Or was it 2017? Something like that. Blimey. No. So, what are you doing now? This is the roof. Yeah, this is just the roof. Mrs. Farmer's going to come in and paint the, the top coat, paint them while they're stood up there. Right. And then, um, yeah, hopefully we get the posts up, these up. Yeah. Fish bash bosh. It's looking a bit dark. Over world's mothers. Right. Uh, so yeah, exciting. I just got Dad to throw something away. What was it? Um, it was it, we we'd just been looking through like this uh, box of just stuff. Yeah. And it was like I don't know some sort of old steel thing that had some nuts and bolts on the top. And he nearly didn't throw it, the, it away. He like put it to one side. He was like, well, I might want the nuts and bolts off, like the, the, bit, the washers off that. And I was like, you've probably got enough, Dad. Are you sure you want, you want to keep that? Just, just to eventually get the like four off. Yeah. And he was like, all right, yeah, probably throw it away. And I was yeah. like, yes. Dad was teaching me all about nuts and bolts. All right. About uh. like the density of, of them, like 8.8 .8 is quite universal. And then like 10 is then getting like stronger. Stronger, yeah. Denser. So guys, just learned something new. Did you guys know this? This is a spanner. I thought a spanner was the one with the pointy ends, but this is a, apparently also a spanner. There you go. Okay. Hey Fernando, the finish of our day, your day, your day. Managed to get the beans put together for the old piece again. Sorry about it being windy, the GoPro battery just died. It's crap, isn't it? Yeah. Cousin Martin is out there with his bazalier doing his bed. Um, but we decided against it. My fields are a bit whiter than his. It's not really planting time for me. No. It's too cold, I mean it's... Like you look like an Eskimo. Yeah. And uh, I wish I'd put my hoodie on. Um, so yeah, stick around. Will we ever get planting? <laughs> Who knows? Hopefully soil temperature rises, we get going. Who knows? See you tomorrow. <laughs>